Children love learning about animals. And as a teacher, I'm often impressed by how much children know about animals, but they still seem to have an insatiable appetite to learn even more. Children love to create, so it seemed like an obvious choice to bring these loves together to create a rich learning experience. The focus for our STEM project took the form of an inquiry question. How do living things grow and change? At Good News School, we recently received a grant to purchase 10 Lego We Do kits. So we were keen to introduce the students to robotics through a meaningful curriculum context. We were also keen to provide an authentic experience for students to work in teams so they could develop collaboration skills. Through our preparation for teaching robotics using We Do, we came across the core values from First Lego League Junior. We adopted these values for use with our students, reflecting on them at the start and end of each session. The Lego We Do teacher support materials and accompanying app suggest the simple three-stage design process, explore, create and share. We thought that this simpler process would be useful to our young learners in scaffolding the design thinking process. The explore phase saw the children learning about all sorts of animal life cycles. Students prepared class talks and when we still had unanswered questions, we looked to audio visual resources and books to learn more. One of the most exciting aspects of the unit was caring for mealworms and making predictions about how they may grow and change. The children were excited about exploring the Lego robotics kits. We began with a structured learning experience so that they knew what the main components did and how they could connect the smart hub to their iPad and control it using simple block coding. Once the students were proclaimed as experts in animal life stages, they moved into the create and test phase of the design process. In the create and test phase, the students worked with a partner or a trio to design a Lego model that would demonstrate how a particular animal grows and changes. The team selected an animal from a list of 10 animals. These animals were chosen as there was some support for constructing models of these animals within the WeDo app. After choosing an animal, the students constructed the basic mechanism according to the directions within the app. Once they had constructed the mechanism and built the code to control its movement, they used the images within the app and their own creative thinking to transform the basic robot into an animal. In the second session of this phase, the teams constructed the other life stages of the animal using Lego and took photos and videos of their construction. In the share phase, the students were given templates to help them record their information on a Show Me poster. The Show Me poster recorded the learning that the students had done about the life stages of the animal, as well as their explanation of their Lego model, and some information about how each team member had contributed to the project. In the final week of term, the classes held a showcase and invited other classes and their parents to see what they had learned throughout the term. When we were building a robot, my job was to find the pieces and it's an important job because then you can't build it without getting finding the pieces. We, what we did was a gorilla. Um, we, um, uh, Rafi said, hey, let's do a gorilla. I was like, oh yeah, sure, I love gorillas. My favourite part was learning about the gorillas and writing about the life stages. Um, I learned about a lot about them because I thought they eat leaves and I thought they lived on leaves. But where do they live? But they live underground and they eat insects and snails. Shaw and I um, had to build this praying mantis to rebuild it um, because we didn't get it quite right the last time. And Josh and I um, just made the um, all the under pieces inside. Um, my favourite part was making it hang off the table. It looked really cool and made it look like a spider. And I also like building the egg sack. I like coding it and I also like watching um, the coding happen and 
it was going really crazy. 